Hey guys, did you know there is a filter option available on all your aggregate functions? So let's get started here. Let's say I start by dropping this table. This table would be created with ID, age and lives, of camp lives on campus as a Boolean field. ID age are pretty much integers. So let's create this table on which we can base this example on. So let's say right now, as you can see, student table has no data. I just have some dummy data available over here. Let's say we put these dummy data in here. We can see the output says six rows affected. Go back, check the students, boom. We have one, two, three, and four people who live on campus and the rest two lives on campus off campus let's say now somebody says hey you give me a count of student who live off campus so it's pretty much simple uh, query I will do an expression uh, from students where lives on campus equal to false right pretty simple now we have two overall people we get the count and it's available in a cell Next step, somebody uh, comes back and says, hey, can you also give me the count of students who live off campus and who also live on campus irrespective of their ages? Well, if you have done any kind of Postgres or any kind of SQL query, your mind will be saying, oh, I have to do a group by, right? So let's pretty much get started with the group by query. So I'm going to say uh, lives on campus. Then we have a an aggregate function count all from students and we have to group this aggregate function on something which is going to be pretty much lives on campus right so now we have live on campus which is only two two people and live off campus two lives on campus four let's say now the same uh, person reach out to you and says hey can you also give me a separate count can you give me a se separate count of all students between the age of 10 and 20 and the age of 21 and 30 who live off campus and who live on campus? Now, it means you have to group by further. So there would be more rows generated and you might also have to provide uh, the age group. So to do that, there are multiple ways you can group by a particular uh, uh, window. But a more efficient way is to, uh, is to use filter option, which is already available in count functions or any aggregate functions. Let's see how it's going to work. So it's going to start pretty much similar the way we did. Let's just uh, add this dummy uh, aggregate function from students group by not where group by lips on campus. Pretty much pretty simple. Same way we did above here now the magic starts now let's say some somebody says hey give me the age group give me the count of all students who live um, on campus and off campus between the age group of 10 and 20. well you can add two uh, actually one filter which is going to be count of all and here is the syntax for filtering filter where this where should actually be in parenthesis where age let's say i can just do between 0 and 20 okay let's remove this extra space this is pretty much inclusive uh, this between function you could also do something like age is greater than or equal to 20 and age is smaller than or something like that but i just chose to use between without confusing you any uh, anymore i'm just going to see what the result is now we have the count of all students grouped by lives on campus so let's say i'm gonna add lives on campus as a column here as well now we have the count of all students between the age of 0 and 20 who live on campus is 3 and who lives on campus is 1. let's go back here and compare this result you can see this says two and four. Now let's say I want to get the count of student in the second age group, which is 21 to 30. 
pretty simple you can use the same exact syntax count of all filter where age between as you get as you would have guessed it right age between 30 actually I'm gonna make it 21 and 30 so now we have lives on campus then the second column would be how many people are living on campus between the age of 0 and 20 one then we have how many people are living on camp off campus between the age of 21 and 30 and we have one similarly on campus we have three people between the age of 0 and 20 and one people pupil <laughs> or pupil anyway uh, between the age of 21 and 30. Let's uh, actually see if that is the case. Eh? So here I have the query. I'm going to increase the font so you guys can see pretty well. Let me increase this. Okay. And we have here. So our query says there are zero the, uh, between the age of 0 and 20. There is just one person who lives off campus. So you can see there is one which is ID number three who lives off campus. There is one person who lives off campus between the age of 21 and 30. You can see here, which is 30. Then you have lives on campus. There are three people in between the age of zero and 20. So we have 15, 20 and 12. Again, 20 is inclusive. And we have one person between the age of 21 and 30 who lives off, oh, sorry, on campus. And that is this guy, uh, ID number six. So finally, summary is the way to go about writing your filter is actually to just extend your aggregate function because it is already available by default. This is going to help you subscope your main query even more. You can also extend this particular uh, selection your main query to have more where clauses and still on the rows you gather from the main where clause you can apply more subscope for your aggregate function with the help of filter finally the main syntax is aggregate name which could be count sum min max row number partition uh, uh, or some kind of uh, aggregate function like uh, array, ag, string to array, etc. Then you have an expression where which could be distinct, etc. And then you have filter, which is mainly saying, hey, I want to apply a filter here. And then you have one parenthesis. Inside the parenthesis, you where, uh, there is a where clause. And then you have the filter clause where you can do exactly what you can do in a where clause as you do in a SQL uh, main query. So if you didn't know about filter, now you know, give it a try. <laughs> All right, take care.